Well, hi guys. Um, this uh, video is about um, just how to repair or actually make um, one of the infamous sliders. Uh, that's one of these guys here. You see them around a lot. They work really well. Um, the idea is this just slides up and down and the fish attack that part there. But what happens that over time is this gets really raggedy and these get pulled and busted and or their hooks might fray or something or bend or so they you can either buy new ones and this uh, is an ocean angler one and they work really well different colors etc but um and i buy them every now and again and it's probably the cheapest thing to do but if you want a bit of fun you can make your own or repair your own and come up with some different color combinations and uh that's i'll show you uh the bits and pieces that i've managed to get together so that i make my own really now so this is one I've made uh, as well. It's a little bit like Rastaman. I'm just mixing a couple of colors up. You can buy most of the components. Um, Rod and Reel have a lot of stuff, but uh, uh, there's a few things that you need to get from other places and just to pull it all together and it's a bit of fun if you want to do it, you know. I also uh, can make these as well. Uh, they're not the same as this because it's a bit more of a complex mold, but I make a simple mold and you could muck around with that and um, try the, the weights as well. So that's what this video will be about. So I'll just get on with it. Well, hi folks again. So um, just got a few things laid out on the table here. Here's the slider that uh, I just had. You can see it's beaten up a little bit there. So they get a bit worse to wear as well. I guess you could, I use fluoro paint. You could spray them a little bit, but cover the eyes when you do. Just to restore some color. So basically that is made out of a centerpiece with some probably Kevlar cord or something and you've got a couple of little very sharp hooks. You can buy these hooks separately. You get different sizes. You could get spade hooks with a flat end or eye hooks. Um, doesn't really matter, but probably about number one is pretty good. Make sure they're sharp. Owner hooks are good. And so you need a couple of those and you'll tie them up. I'll give you a link. Uh, to go to a guy that ties them up and you can see how it's done and then they're tied onto an o-ring so you've got two separate strings now normally i put a knot in here i have it long enough so i can tie it complete knot with both of them tied together and that creates a stop for when this cable tie ties everything onto it it won't go down any further so the hooks don't get jammed up by your um, tassels so basically i have um made these tassels now they're made out of something like a silicon or a rubber it's quite flexible obviously they can pull it um, i'm not sure what it is it's probably a secret but the, the closest thing i've found has been these rubber latex swim caps just your normal old swim cap they're not too dear 12 15 dollars or something and you can get quite a bit of cutting out of one of those you can get different colors so you can experiment, but they do. there does seem to be good pinks around and oranges and bright colors, which is what you want. Um, but you can get some great ones sometimes, or you might use something else. Sometimes you can buy sheets of plastic, uh, not plastic, but rubber. So whatever is a suitable material, it's got to be quite lightweight, quite stretchy. And um, then you're laying them down like that. So I put this cable tie like this. You can have a black or a clear one. Then I'm sticking this piece across here with the o-ring on it just lying that in the right position then you're putting these cable ties on like that and you can put them in whatever order you want I'm putting a couple of orangey ones and then a yellow one and then you can buy things like these little guys here they come in a strip and um, they're often sold like this and you can get different colored ones uh, Rod and Reel and Newmarket are great for that sort of thing because they have a lot of trout fishing gear, but quite a lot of it now. They've got a lot of sea stuff now, actually. So that you buy those as well and then lay those in there as well like that. And then you're going to hold that down and bring your cable tie over through there like that. Just got to be a bit hanging on to it a little bit tricky there. Just get it in the right position. And then you just pull it up tight, tight as you can, and then you can snip that off. And then basically, you're just about good to go with uh, your new rig.
And so if it uh, gets too tatty and you think, oh, biff that one and put a new one on. And when you get home, you can use uh, some small side cutters. You can just snip that and it all comes apart again. And uh, you can replace the hooks if they're bad and, and get a new hook rig set up. Or you can just replace your skirts quite quickly and then you're good to go again. And you can experiment a little bit. You could put anything on that. You could put bits of strip tint tinsel and anything you want to try something else. So that's basically the structure of those. And they come in either, uh, what's very popular at the moment is the curly tail ones. Rather than straight, they're curly tailed like that. And they seem to buy, you know, flick around a lot more in the water. So they attract a bit more attention. They look like they're alive. So to get that sort of effect, you, if you lay them down, you can see that they're actually like a circle. They're actually like a big S. So if you actually cut it out of the hat, like in a big, just mark it like a big S shape, then you're gonna end up with, when you put it on halfway along, it's gonna end up like that, hanging down like that. So that's the main, that's the main one I do now. But uh, I'll just show you a drawing of uh, those two shapes that you can use. But you can vary it however you want. But generally you're putting it in the middle and it's hanging down both sides. And you don't want, well, you could experiment with more of them, but it seems to be sort of two long tentacles, maybe a couple of short ones is the thing with a little bit of this different colored stuff in the middle. But I'll just get that drawing. So uh, basically there are a couple of shapes like that. So that's your long ones and see how they're tapered in the middle where you tie it and they fatten out and then they go into a bit of a spear front. And that looks a bit like the long tentacles on a squid. And then this S one is a shape like that. You could vary it, but then when you pinch it in the middle, the tighter they are, then the more curly it'll be. So if you do want it just to curl a little bit, make it a big S like that. And then you just, you can mark it and then you can cut around it. So I use those two shapes. Um, and you can see on this one here, there's actually some graphics, because often these swim caps have graphics on them, but it doesn't matter too much, long as the graphics not too big. In fact, some might even add to it with a little bit of color on them, so don't worry about that. And that basically um, gets your um, slider back into action again. And you can just experiment. Sometimes with this latex, I find that it, it sticks together a little bit. So just before you put it in the water, make sure all the tentacles are, are free and flowing and, and unstuck. And then, um, then you're good to go. So uh, we'll have a go at that anyway. And I will show you uh, on another video, or I might add it to this, just how I make these um, the lead weights. So I've got um, some moulds that I've made. They're just simple. I just use a piece of dowel, and then I have ground these moulds down to make them even so they, they'll flow in the water in the right direction. And you've got to have the hole inside them at the right angle so that they actually hang on the right angle because they don't hang like this, they hang like that. So they're looking like a fish going with the tentacles coming out here. So that's the trick really is this angle of this hole. And I can show you how I do those. Um, something simple is just buy a big ball sinker, whatever size you want. It's got a hole in the center, file a bit off the sides. You can stick these big eyes in. You can get these eyes from rod and reel. Well, they don't seem to have the big ones at the moment, but and if you wanted to, you could drill that out a little bit so you get a, a slightly closer fit coming in. But this one will sit straight up and down because of the hole and the weight. So it'll sit like that and when you pull it, it'll go like this. So whereas what you really want is for it to be on a ang bit of an angle of that. So it's going along a little bit more on a bit of an angle. So, um, but you know, they still do the trick. So anyway, I'll get onto that. That's a molding situation. So it's a little bit more involved and you might just want to buy the regular ones because it is actually, you know, probably cheaper to buy them. And there's lots of different varieties. And then at least you can uh, do something with your skirts and muck around a little bit. 